We're back with the 747, but today we're to be having a cabin fire. Let's get started. And I forgot to mention this thing is loaded with passengers and I think Debbie's on board on the third class. So let's go ahead and start this thing. Oh my gosh, guys, this thing's like impossible to start. I swear it gets harder every time. Okay, so we're gonna turn on our battery, standby power. No, we don't need that on APU. We're gonna turn on all this stuff. I don't know what any of this means. All right, all of it is on. Oh gosh, this is way too many buttons I'm clicking and I have no idea what they do. We still do not have electric for the hydraulic pump. So what do we have to turn on? I think the APU. Where's the APU at? I thought I already tried starting that. I don't know what's going on. But for some reason, when we turn on standby power, it all works. So you know what? I think we're just going to do that because, it, you know, we're going to do what works. So fuel pump is on on all engines. There we go. PSI warning is gone. I think we got everything on that needs to be. But let's see if these engines actually start um, starting up here. Oh, yeah, I forgot to turn these on. So one, two, three, four. Oh, opposite. Okay, so one, two. There we go. So now engines should definitely start. And while we're preparing for takeoff, we're going to turn on cross feed for both wings. And I think that's all we need to do. Um, we're turn on those anything else oh bleed air yes we need those on okay well now all engines are starting we're preparing for a takeoff here on um, disable park brake our right, engine three is on i don't know okay there we go now it's all starting to kick on perfect all right neotastic to atc i think we're clear for a takeoff we're going to be disabling the park brake all right so first thing you want to do on takeoff is full throttle and we probably should have done flaps um i don't know where flaps are at or really even what they do turn left turn left turn left oh we're starting to go pull up right now pull up pull up oh my gosh this thing took off super fast right there did you guys see that dude i don't even know how we just said that but i'm fine with it i'm um, ladies and gentlemen i hope you are seated because if you're not you're gonna be on the ceiling all right we're just doing some barrels here um let's go ahead and put up our landing gear that lever right there and our landing gear should start going up oh no don't do landing gear i forgot this thing can't do that oh no that's not good guys that's not good as we're having some issues the landing gear is going up either way we're trying to abort there we go okay landing gear is going back down the front one is having some issues i don't know if we're gonna be able to do, do a, a landing, landing with, with that. that well that's an amazing start we're just gonna be rising altitude here we do have some damage in the inside we're just calmly rising in altitude right now so make sure you guys are all on your seats let's see if we can see any passengers i see someone right there and then i see some people in these seats over here okay so yeah we do have some passengers on board debbie is down there somewhere i don't even want to know but all right do i have any warnings in here right now it's all at 15 okay so that's good i'm pretty sure those explode around 19 so we're gonna start throttling down here just so we can start leveling out what's our altitude looking like um i don't even know well, i think we need to do a turnaround here do a landing at a runway because our front landing gear is not working and i don't want to like be flying without a front landing gear so let's see where the nearest runway is we're kind of doing an emergency landing already this definitely won't be we're gonna go to clark airfield just so if i um accidentally overrun the runway i'm not gonna go into the ocean you know that's probably not what you want to do but yeah we are calmly descending right now that's the runway we took off at and that's clark airfield right there so it's actually really close um i don't know why they put it so close really cool map seed if you want it it is 30108 yep it's pretty cool but i think we're gonna be coming in for a landing on that side so we have to kind of start turning over here and i have to keep the nose in the air for as long as i can okay we're getting low psi warnings in some engines it's like blinking on an yeah see engine four okay so engine four is having some issues even though it looks fine to me i don't know what's going on with engine four so number three is how we do brakes so i don't know if i have to hold that down or what we have to do guys this is kind of scary okay equipment fans that probably should have already been on anyways we need to start like descending right now ladies and gentlemen we are coming in for an emergency landing we'll be taking off here shortly we're just coming in for a maintenance check our front landing gear is not deployed so this might be a little bit rough but i'm gonna try keeping the nose in the air for as long as i can so we have some tail whip here that's definitely why but i cannot find my actual elevator trim or whatever it's called i don't even know trim air maybe that's it trim air trim air what if i turn it off what does it do now um i don't think that was it guys i really don't know where my flaps yeah it's flaps not elevator all right so flaps are currently non-existent that's lovely and then up and down is my throttle so that will work okay and then we're going to be coming in for an approach here i don't even think there's an atc tower so so this is really just a communication runway we have to talk to the pilots and you know kind of coordinate what is that down there is that a ship how did that get over here i don't even know okay we're coming in for a landing here we go will we survive this let me know in the comments right now what you think will happen we're gonna start throttling down and start pulling up here nope full throttle oh my gosh do not hit it that going that hard all right here we go we're starting to lower i'm gonna try keeping the nose in the air um is our throttle kind of up there we go throttle is starting to go up clearly cut down the throttle here we go throttles at five percent right like idle okay so now we're coming in for a nice landing. Your good old pilot here. We are kind of hovering over the runway. I'm trying to lower it. It's just not working out. It is slowly starting to go down. Oh my gosh. Okay, this isn't this going. 
Oh, no. Uh oh, this is not good. Okay, we're keeping the nose in the air. And oh, there we go. Nose is still in the air somehow and completely shut down the engine now. Oh my gosh. Wait, that was actually good. Okay, start applying brakes. Brakes are on. Okay, so now we have landed. Oh my. Guys, that was so good. The nose wasn't even on the ground like that entire time. And now it just touched. All right, well, I'm going to go apply for my Spirit Airlines license here in a bit. So I'm going to shut off all engines here. All right, we're back up in the air again. And I think we're going to tour the volcano over there. I don't exactly know what we're going to be doing in this flight. So we're just going to go see the volcano over there. So I have everyone now seated. I'm going to be rotating the plane really hard to the right. So, you know, people on the right can see, and I'll maybe do the left. I don't know. But I've noticed in the 747, there's a whole bunch of actual room up here. So what do they even put in this area right here in real life? I don't know if that's like the cabin. I don't know how that works, but please let me know in the comments if you do know. And we have to keep the landing gear deployed, even though that's really not aerodynamic. So I don't know. It's just going to completely destroy itself if we don't. So we're going to turn on our lights. I don't even know what that is. Everything's looking good. OPSI is not happening anymore. So I did something right. So so we're going to turn on pack flows on all engines there. Okay, now temperature in the interior is increasing. That's what we want. All right, how do I talk to the cabin in here? Is there like a microphone system in here that I can talk to them with? I don't really think I can. Oh, yeah, number two. So Neotastic 2 passengers, if you look to the right of the plane, um, we do see a active volcano. It is very active. It's been active for 13 million years. Really cool volcano. Okay, so I think they know. I think they got the point. I don't know if I was loud enough, but we're going to be slowly starting to rotate the plane over there just so the people on the right can see it. And maybe even the left since they're going to be flying out of their seats now straight to the window. Okay, so this should work. I can actually feel the heat from the volcano. Oh my gosh, guys, this is probably not allowed at all. Um, But that's besides the point. I own this airline and I actually like, you know, I run things around here. Hopefully the smoke doesn't get in my engines because I do know that the smoke really messes those things up okay so we need to probably be careful with that all right people on the right side of the plane how does the volcano look all i can see is smoke if i'm be honest but you know i see some lava here and there we're gonna start pulling up here oh my gosh okay we're gonna be pulling some g-forces a 747 should never be pulling in real life oh uh here we go we're gonna be doing a circle for the left people we're just casually pulling six g-forces all right so now that you're in your seats um people on the left side you can now look out your window and we do have some lava so it's kind of more visible on this side it's really cool looking it has like some type of weird shape to it on each individual like lava slab or something hope it's um close enough i can get lower if you guys want i can literally fly directly above it i've done that a couple times actually with the same volcano this is the largest active volcano in stormworks if you guys didn't know but you know what just to get a closer view and kind of feel like the heat of a natural volcano we're going to go right next to it all right so hopefully on the other side there isn't a big rock that i'll run into because i can't see uh on the other side all right can you guys see it i mean i, I guess you guys can't i can see it oh gosh okay we need to start pulling up here i cannot see anything oh i can't see anything we are completely in smoke right now oh my gosh this is probably not safe um passengers are you guys doing okay all right well that's pretty cool now we're gonna be kind of just looking at the desert here so we are in a performance 747 so this thing is customly modified to do stuff like this as you can tell i don't think a 747 in real life could do this unless you know it's modified so we swap the normal control fins um these things right here with fighter jet control fins so we can do fighter jet maneuvers but you know it's a little bit slower because this thing slightly heavier than a fighter jet um for some obvious reason one of them being that debbie is on board we have some cool like rocks going on down here is that wait that looks like a volcano doesn't that look like a volcano um oh gosh that looks like it's been kind of deactivated for a couple years here but yeah we've been flying for quite a bit now we are going like really far out uh we should probably start doing a u-turn here i don't like being this far in the ocean we're gonna start turning here um wait what's that hold on wait we have a fire in the cabin oh this is bad guys oh there's fire debbie must be lighting something oh my gosh where is debbie at hold on where is she i need to locate her that kind of looks like debbie but she normally wears red stuff okay Deb oh i see your debbie what are you doing why did you light the passengers on fire back there okay we need to turn off um all this stuff right here we need to do an emergency u-turn okay so we have a small fire on board this should not be an issue we do have some fire extinguishers all right so we have some trained flight attendants also wait i think i left some standing up okay so i think they'll be fine i don't know where they're at probably pushed up against the wall somewhere but all right so we're gonna start leveling out here yeah we do have some fire fire actually starting to rise so i'm gonna just level this thing out right here grab my fire extinguisher i'm a trained professional at this guys you guys don't even know and then i just can do this from here and it'll kind of go back so is the fire out um oh gosh doesn't look like that's working that well um it is starting to spread to the wings okay and that is directly where our fuel is actually at so now we have a fuel leak what's our fuel tank level looking like oh wait wait is that our engine hold on um what's happening with our engines is that supposed to happen is that because i'm on like a certain throttle okay there we go on full throttle it fixes itself okay that's good and then 
Adam, what's our fuel levels looking like? Um, I can't even see anything like that. Uh, that's great. Oh, that's why we forgot to turn on the no smoking and fasten seat. You know, that fasten seatbelts thing should have been on this entire time, if I'm be honest. Um, are there any passengers in the actual fire area? Okay, so we have this guy right here that's about to be burnt to Wait, we have a door that's opening. Oh, great. Now we have 20,000 feet air in the cabin. That's lovely. All right, I hope you guys are enjoying this fresh, crisp air that we're getting in here. It's perfect. This passenger has his indoor sauna going on here. Okay, that's really cool. And then we have this girl. And then it'll slowly spread up here to where I'm at. Um, that's not gonna happen because I can, like, control- Wait, it could have been because of the volcano. Maybe, like, a piece of ash somehow slipped inside of the plane. I don't know. Debbie might have let it in or opened a door or something. Debbie is always pulling stuff. Okay, so we have 15 RPS. Um, everything's looking good. We need to tell ATC what's going on. Or should we keep- Uh-oh, our landing gear. Oh, no. Fantastic to ATC. We have a small cabin fire on board i think yeah passenger was doing something um yeah so spreading two passengers also and we are having a landing gear issue with the right landing gear it kind of has a mind of its own right now it's kind of like flopping all over the place i don't really trust that thing carrying a 747 and Debbie. but let's see where's the nearest runway at um is that a runway right there oh i think it is let's see no that's the military base runway that's clark so i don't know if we can land there it's not really a military base but i just call it military base i'm trying to get shot down I'm pretty sure they have flat cannons. So why is autopilot on? Hold on, turn that off. Why was that even on? Okay, so now we have full control. But yeah, the landing gear is just wobbling all over the place. And actually, it's completely collapsed now. Oh, nope, it's trying to correct itself. But yeah, it's not doing too well. Oh, that's a major fire. Is this person still alive? I'm honestly impressed you're still alive, sir. That's the most impressive part about this. But the fire is slowly spreading. Oh, no. Why did you guys have to do this to me? I'm just trying to fly my plane and do a tour. Okay, so we're going to be trying to do some evasive maneuvers here to try blowing out the fire. So we're just going to try getting as much air flow in this thing um debbie why don't you open all emergency exits because i know you know how to do all that stuff so we're just gonna be doing some aerodynamic circles right now this will just help with the airflow get all the air inside of this thing because you know uh, fires can be blown out with air that's just how it works you know because if you blow out a candle you blow it out with air so you know if you get enough air in your anyway sir how's it going back there is your flight going well would you like any debbie's cookies what about the people over here you guys still doing good wait wasn't there a lady sitting next to her i don't know she's probably a goner we're about to start losing controls here momentarily i think we've lost um both of our major late and you know what we've lost all of our back landing gears i don't know what the way back ones are doing but that's concerning uh maybe if i try putting them up and then try putting them down um wait no i have to like bring it to like one and then bring it down okay, so now i'm bringing it down let's see what happens here yep landing gear failed okay great all right so we're gonna be requesting a landing at the military base i don't know if they're gonna approve us but you know we have a small issue so you know they should oh it's spreading to the engines oh no that's where our fuel line is actually at okay let's look in the wing yeah so i think we have a small fuel leak any um fuel issues yet surprisingly not i still want to wonder where our fuel tank is actually at so where do we see how much fuel we have left there's literally nothing in here that says that there probably is i just don't know where to look um okay so engine three has black smoke coming out of it that's what we need right now oh this thing's in a complete fireball okay so yeah i think it's about time we start doing a circle here and prepare for a landing because this fire is definitely just getting too much for this thing oh my gosh look at all that fire dude are those passengers still alive i know i've said this but like there's no way they're still existing okay so passenger right here where did he go um i don't even want to know all right well that's fine i prepared for this situation so we're gonna turn off engines two and three there we go so now it sh those should not be an issue see look now we look perfectly fine who needs that smoky engine anyways pretty sure this thing can fly on one engine so why don't we just test that out okay we're gonna turn off engine four and now we are flying and if i go full left rudder it cannot wait why do we have fire suppression um hold wait that's our fuel dump hold on why are we dumping fuel um this is not good guys wing two is currently dumping fuel i don't know why this was not official um i think the hatch broke open this is bad okay so we're currently losing a bunch of fuel activate all engine actually no just the outside engine so we can keep this thing up nope don't do engine three. Oh, why is engine we're losing a lot of fuel in the right engine currently let's see what's our fuel i don't i still uh oh low psi in engine one. Oh, that's great fire suppression and engine three is currently being activated i think that's three right there yes it is perfect so engine three fire suppression is going on uh, we're going to be turning it on on all engines just so make sure they are watery and not like capable of being caught on fire perfect all right they should be all good now oh no the fire is spreading towards me okay it is going up to the second floor right now um the bottom cabin is completely in a blaze debbie's still down here somewhere i don't know where but she's probably having a fun time our wing is still dumping fuel i don't know how much fuel we actually have in the wing so it's going to be pretty oh yeah there it is i think it's completely about to be drained here oh my gosh clark airfield said we are not approved for the landing what have i been doing a 
circle around this airfield for for fun i mean i guess we're just completely dropping our blaze on them so they'll probably be on fire here in a bit now we need to find a different runway to land on so let's see which runway is closest to us uh maybe that one right there that we did the landing at earlier okay so that is eight kilometers away i don't know if we have eight kilometers but we'll try i'm more worried about the fuel because as you can see there's like an opening right there that goes straight into the plane there's a hatch um to dump fuel because we can like dump fuel there's a dump fuel button somewhere i don't know where it's at but you can do it and that's currently open fire is slowly starting to spread to our computers room i see the fire actually going to the computers we're about to start losing controls here we need to like kind of hurry up on this landing here on the landing we're going to be activating all engines all engines are currently being started up we need all the power this thing can have we do have emergency exits currently open probably from the passengers trying to escape but that clearly probably didn't go well where would they even go i mean i guess you could go to the end of the wing that's probably your safest bet here i'm surprised engine two is still up and running but the fire is slowly spreading to it and it's going to cut off its fuel line in a second here yeah i'm pretty sure the right wing has completely ran out of fuel which is not good the damage is starting to spread to the logic i see some of the logic already broken so yeah we're definitely losing hydraulic controls of some sort here in a second coming in for the emergency landing all crew and passengers that are still remaining with us he's braced for impact we're going to be removing our waypoint since we know all right so what's going on back here it's starting to spread up here okay i'm going to close that door just for smoke inhalation sake okay so i don't know how this is going to work all of our landing gears are like basically broken um oh no the left one's open now okay so we definitely need to hurry up with this landing just keep going down oh no go 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 guys this is not good these landing gears are not going to stand up there is no chance in the world that these are going to just help us engine two is on fire okay oh gosh oh gosh okay engine two and three fire suppression start pulling up here oh this is bad don't do that okay that's a really bad landing do not do that okay start throttling down here we don't need to be going this fast oh my gosh let's see here we go we're coming in for a landing right next to the runway this isn't the runway oh this is bad this is bad here we go will we survive three two one we are going to start landing here we're stalling um oh gosh i'm trying to land this thing it's not working okay turn off fire suppression there we go and here we go we are landing three two one right now straight on the train tracks oh wait the landing gears are actually keeping this thing up all right that is a pretty successful landing we're going to be holding number three now for our brakes that's the front landing gear brakes and wait a second did we go to a complete stop here hold on oh, we're still trying to apply brakes it's still moving there we go so we did land okay you know what we're gonna take off again we are capable of this here we go we're taking off again in this fiery 747 that's impossible we are full throttle full throttle is engaged we're having some wheel spin here oh yep start rotating uh we're having some major tail whip and we're in the air let's put our landing gear up see if this still works oh my gosh we are driving this thing somehow i don't know how uh, one of our cargo compartments is opening there goes all of our luggage that's lovely this thing is somehow still flying which is quite depressive if i'm gonna be honest um i don't know how we still have fuel also that's very interesting but yeah engines three and four are kind of bouncing here and i think we do have an oil leak somewhere okay that's great so small oil leak is going on in engines two and three currently this oil update is very interesting okay we're gonna try landing again here uh but this time we're gonna do it on the multiplayer base so we need to stop like an on a dime or else we're going straight off the runway i guess that'd be kind of helpful because it put out the fire here we go coming in for a landing neotastic two multiplayer base atc whatever you are we're coming in for a very aggressive landing okay so we're gonna turn on the park brakes and then we're going to apply brakes right now okay here we go we're coming in this is about to be the landing of your guys's life here we go oh my gosh all of our landing gears are like dancing currently we're gonna start slowly pulling up here start rotating to the left oh this is bad wait deploy the landing gear i forgot about that we don't want it to be like you know trying to go up here we go we're coming in oh we are landing halfway down the runway this is not good at all um try keeping the right wing off the ground please uh oh uh oh don't scrape it here we go and hold number three for the brakes apply brakes we're on full brakes currently full brakes are engaged here we go we are trying to land full brakes oh my gosh we got everything um do we have okay shut off all engines all engines shut down and there we go we came to a complete stop with engines one and two completely exploding oh this is really laggy guys this is really laggy i can barely even walk but let's see what's going on back here so passengers are still alive let's see if debbie's still alive that'd be quite impressive so let's go down here um oh oh my gosh debbie okay yeah debbie's not doing too well i think she actually just fainted the second we looked at her anyways that was a pretty good landing we landed twice on this fiery plane this thing is actually a tank but if you guys want to use this it is in the description if you want to you have a slight oil leak as you can see but that's probably going to be it for this stormworks emergency landing video make sure you guys like and subscribe hit that bell join the discord link is in the description but thanks for watching and goodbye